Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 43, and this is the last war of the season. Huh. <sighs> and we're going against an alliance. I cannot say their name, but I see some numbers in between. Seven, eight, and nine. And that's about all I can do. Now, I don't know if these guys are serious for the last war or what. Um, I don't think we are too stressed. We should finish in Platinum 2. We won that last war, so um, we can probably take it a bit easy this war, I think. Anyway, they've uh, banned Ghost, Omega Sentinel, and Warlock. So expect some uh, traps there. Let's uh, see what they got planned. Mm hmm. All right. So we've got Wiccan, who I am not going to go up against with a Cosmic. I got to keep telling myself that so that I don't do that. Got to remind myself that. Okay. Then we've got Mangog. Now, when I see Mangog, I think Diablo. So I will probably try to bring Diablo. And let's see. Who else we got here? Weapon X. Hmm. I see why they banned who they banned. Omega Sentinel would have been good, and so would Warlock. Hmm. Okay. And then we've got, hmm. Um, I think Claire can do that one, can't she? Let me think. Because he gets a lot of uh, armor ups. Yeah. Yeah, he gets a lot of armor ups. But I think Claire should be able to uh, handle him. I, I'm trying to remember who I used there before. Because I know I fought him there before. And it was probably Claire. So I will bring Claire. Let's see. Viv Vision. Hmm. And Thing. Well, I can bring Hulkling. So, if I bring Hulkling, oh, man, let me think. Oh, that's going to be a pain. All right, so Claire can do that fight, future Ant-Man. Viv Vision, let me see. She does get armor ups, right? Yeah. So I need somebody who really is shock immune because I don't want to play with that. It hurts. And Hulkling is shock immune. Hmm. So Hulkling, Claire. Hmm. And Diablo. And Claire. I think Claire or uh, Diablo could take that Wiccan. So, yeah. I think that's what I'll do. Claire, Diablo, and Hulkling. Uh, Diablo can take that man thing. Claire or Diablo can take that Wiccan. And then... Uh, Claire for the future Ant-Man and Hulkling for um, Viv Vision. And I don't know. Hulkling might be able to also do that um, that thing there. Hmm. And let's see. Anybody over here I can deal with? Uh, let me see. Um, I don't know. I'll have to I have to think about that one because I don't see anybody. Ooh, 
and they have that uh, di- um, domino up there. So they banned uh, Warlock, who would have been really good for that fight. Now, this Mantis... Diablo might be able to do that fight. Yeah, I don't know. She's a global defender, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We shall see. All right, let's go in with them, and we will see. Let's get on with the fighting. All right, going in with Hulkling, Claire, and El Diablo. So this is the last war of the season. So it was very relaxed, even more relaxed because we won the last war. So this war, we kind of took it easy. Not that easy. We still wanted to, you know, win and everything. But, you know, we weren't going to boost up big, big, big and, and all of that good stuff. So a no stress war. And it was also going to be the last war with several of our members because we, um, I think my uh, alliance leader said there were about five or six people uh, he was going to have to replace. And I don't know if all of them ended up leaving, but I do know that we have several new people. One of them is Laser John, who I was in. Uh, previous alliance with. Very nice, very nice. All right. So here we go. We are fighting Wiccan without forgetting that you don't want to bring a cosmic against him. I kept doing that for some reason. I don't know why. But I'd bring a cosmic up against Wiccan. Bad idea. Really bad idea. Doesn't usually end well. All right. So as you can see here, we're having no problem. Claire is tearing him up. I'm telling you, Claire, man. My favorite mystic by far. And then, of course, I get parried. It, that's about about par for the course. And I'm just like, I, I just shake my head now. Because when stuff like that happens, I'm just like, whatever. You know, you're doing well. You've got full health. Everything is going great. And then suddenly the AI does something a little out of the ordinary or they respond a little bit faster you know it doesn't be it doesn't have to be a lot and you get a rhythm you know you get to know the rhythm of the fight and everything like that and every once in a while they'll react slightly faster or parry you and you know and then look how much damage he did parry and then bam i can't even take two of those you know but anyway I'm not a fan of Alliance War, so I'm very happy that the offseason is here. All right, so we already know about this fight. It's a pretty straightforward fight. Doesn't matter about the uh, regen, because with all those poisons, he's not going to regen. I also have the Despair Mastery. I only have one point in it, but that's enough. And uh, combined with the poison, which also reduces your healing... Yeah, we're not going to have him healing at all. Now, one thing I was worried about was those placebo uh, buffs. When they expire, if this guy has uh, Mystic Dispersion maxed out, it could have been a, an annoying fight. You know, not unbeatable, but as long as you know, you'll just have to bait out more specials. You know, and so like right here, I was scared because if he decides not to fire, he's going straight to a special three, which he almost just did. All he has to do is hold his special. And I'm not really a fan of that type of situation because there's nothing I can do there. I'm baiting, I'm baiting, and he's just not throwing it. And if he just kept holding it, I would have had to take a special three. I would have survived it. But that would have still been annoying, you know? Alliance War is already, you know, kind of expensive if you play at a higher level. I try to play as cheap as possible. Um, but as you've seen, I've had to heal up some fights and everything. And those things 
are expensive. Fortunately, I stock up and, you know, I, I try my best not to use a lot of items. I'm, I'm quite stingy with those items. Uh, I remember back in the day I, I got into some trouble because I ran out and I ended up having to use units. Now, I want you to see this. Look at this. I already clicked it, right? Look where it's it's flashing. All right. Now, look at that. Now, I'm over here. You see, I clicked on it, right? Look where it went. You saw him move. So, you know, I clicked on that. And look at what it did. If this, if they didn't put in that undo, that would have screwed us over right there. You saw it, right? Slow it down if you need to. I, I wasn't even on the other one to hit it. And I was looking at this one. And I clicked on it, you saw him move, just like that, and I went up to another one. That used to happen to us before they had that undo in. And, you know, all we could tell them is, I swear, I did not do that on purpose. It went over there on its own. And, you know, hope they believed you, you know. But there you have proof. You got proof right there. All right. Anyway. This guy right here is very annoying because he gets a lot of armor ups. So that's why you see a lot of glancing. All right. And so what I end up doing, I think, because he kept one of the things that I that were annoying uh, about him so much is the power drain as well. You know, see, yeah, that power drain. So annoying. But as you can see, we're getting him down. It's an annoying fight, but we are getting him down whenever he decides to throw that special. All right, blocked them all. Now, he's running the, uh, you know, ouchy masteries, which makes it much easier. That's why they don't like you to run them, because in this particular case, I can just keep baiting specials and all that glancing and everything that would make it really bad. Is not so bad see I'm glancing so he should have a lot more health than he does right now at least 20 to 30 percent more look at this all that glancing wouldn't be much I could do but every time I bait out these specials take some uh, damage so now I'm just starting to um, hit him with heavy attacks that at least puts a bleed on him and I die why did I try to evade that? I don't know. We had a nice little strategy going. I was, uh, you know, starting to do the heavy attack and everything. I just had to block that. But it is what it is. Like I said, last war, very laid back. And I'm just like, whatever. All right. So I just went in with um, Hulkling. Was not about to... Uh, you know, revive her, and boom, he's down. Didn't really care all that much. Uh, I may use somebody else against him in the future. We'll see. Now, this fight. Oh, my goodness. She's so annoying. She's so annoying. Um, but on this particular node, huh, well, look at this. Look at how many armor up she has, guys. So, you remember me asking on a live stream, or you might not, about who is shock immune and can put armor breaks. This is why. So, Hulkling can't armor break her. He's shock immune. But, look at this. Just a bunch of glancing. Look at this. This is ugly. And she's not armor break immune. Um, so uh, Corvus, before I got an answer, Corvus was who I started thinking about bringing in when I see her. Because he will armor break every one of those 16 armor ups she has with a single parry. All right. So you see what I'm doing here because you can't glance um, the special uh, three. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I can cycle special threes, 
but his special three doesn't do a lot of damage. So we're talking about a long fight. All right. And I'm just like, I don't really feel like it. I, I really didn't. I, I gave up. I don't like long fights. And like I said, it was the last war. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. You know? But this is why I asked that question. The answer I got, one of the answers, was Terax. He's shock immune and he armor breaks. But also Corvus. Okay? Um, very good placement for her. But guess what? After this season, they changed everything. We got new nodes and a new Alliance War map. So that's not really an issue. Uh, Terax is still a good option, and I have him as a six star. He's still rank one. Um, and I do have him uh, awakened. But whether I take him up, I don't know. But he is actually a, a good uh, attacker. And in this particular fight, he would have been a very good um, counter for her. Man, I hate that unblockable. I still don't know how to evade her um, special one. She just like... Yeah, see, now that one's not unblockable. But I still tried to evade it, and I got clipped at the end. And at this point, I'm just getting some practice in. Because I was looking, and I'm like, you know what? I still need to clear her. And I don't really have anybody else to do it. You know? Diablo can't really do it. And um, Claire can't do it. He's the only one that can do it. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm going to have to cycle the uh, special threes. Much as I don't like it. And, I mean, we are getting her down. You know? It's just a long fight with Hulkling. If they had not changed this, I would not bring Hulkling again against this node. Had they not changed it. No way. Uh, if I see her again on a node even similar, and I think in the new map there is one that's similar, it'll be, hmm, yeah, it'll be Terax. <laughs> Look at that, I just ran right into it. Um, you can tell my mind is not really on the game. Terax or Corvus. Now, my Corvus is still rank three, and in the offseason, I did take him up against uh, a viv vision that's how i know that um she's not armor break immune and a, and a parry will take out all of those armor uh, armor ups but I, while i beat her i noticed that it was a close fight now if i have to fight that same fight in the season I'll, of course i'll be bo uh, boosted so that should help you know quite a bit but I wasn't taking her down as fast as I would have liked because Corvus, rank three, I forget what rank she was, and he did not have any charges at all. All right, so that was the last fight, much longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, but we'll be back in a minute, and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. It's the last war of the season. I don't think our opponents really cared about this war. Really don't. Uh, take a look. We knew we had won this one way before it ended. In fact, uh, I think the comment was the only way we could lose this war at that point was to basically not clear our bosses. That would have been the only way. Um, so, yeah, I think they just really didn't care. His last war probably did not change uh, one way or another their um, their level, their, their tier. But we should end in Platinum 2 this season. All right. So, anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching all throughout the season. 
Take care. Until next season. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.